Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to explore the basics of the genre reggae and I'm going to try and give you some patterns which seem to have worked for me and most of my you know, band members playing different instruments and I've tested this out with a lot of reggae songs, especially Bob Marley songs, which are very famous as you probably already know. So I'm going to start with a very simple comping pattern and then go forward from there with left hand ghost notes, bringing in some swing, trying to delay and break up some chords. There'll be a lot of patterns, so stay tuned till the end. We'll also start making some arpeggios happen in both the left hand and the right hand. Some reggae arpeggios, if that's the term for it. Okay, so we'll start with just chords with block chords in the right hand. We'll start with just some left hand simple root and fifth kind of comping and then see how it goes. So before we get started, it'll be nice if you can follow the lesson with our staff notation, MIDI tracks if you wish, and my handwritten notes for not only this one, but the others as well, which keep happening on our page. And also don't don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell for regular notifications or hit it at the end or somewhere during the video if you uh, remember. So let's get cracking. I have an interesting chord progression for you. I didn't want to do the standard one, one, five, six, four. We do that all the time on YouTube. And I don't like C major. As you know, C major on our channel is absolutely illegal. So we'll take B flat and see where we go from there and add some interesting, maybe a borrowed chord at the end. So I'm going to think of this progression now. B flat major. Then we'll go to F major. So I'm pretty much in the key of B flat. E flat major and then E flat minor. We could play this first of all with some nice inversions. So if you're starting with maybe the root position of B flat, you can play F major like this, E flat major like this, E flat minor like this, all using inversions. If you feel your inversion knowledge is a bit sluggish, you can check out our playlist on chord inversions. We leave you the link in the YouTube description. So if I do first inversion of B flat, I did root, right? If I do first inversion of B flat, F would come here, maybe E flat major, E flat minor. So the chords remember B flat, F, E flat major, E flat minor. Then I can, what I like is the second inversion around middle C. It's It sits well for my years at least. So F, B flat, D, F, A, C, E flat major, E flat minor. Or you can even do B flat, F, go upper to E flat. E flat minor. Anyway, so that's about inversions. So a good way to start off with your reggae journey is to focus on a little bit of swing, divide by four and start focusing on those divisions. So if I do one, two, three, four, four by four with swing, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, rather than one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a, which is straight music. So swing would be one E and a two E and a tuck din a tuck. That's getting that swing going. That's a good feeling. Now, if you're not able to get the swing instantly, it's okay. Focus just on the ands. So maybe one and two and three and. But think of the swing if possible. And four and and and. So this itself kind of gets you into the world of reggae. Tap your pulse probably with your foot on the ground or just move your head and two and three, and four, and one, and two, three, and maybe snap at the end or something. And four, and one, and, and three, and four, and one, and two. And there we go. So this and is generally played, especially in traditional reggae music, by the guitar player of the band. And it's generally done, you know, very staccato. So that's what I'm going to try and do now in the right hand. One, and just catch the ends. Mm -hmm. 
But check a one and two and three and four and a one and two and three. Okay, so that you've got your guitar player now covered. Okay, now what about your bass player? A bass player traditionally in a band will end up focusing on the pulse. So one. So you can do that. One and two and three and four and one. And so just do the ones. One and two and leave off the the alternate. So you don't have to do one and two. You could also do this, but then you may ruin the swing. You know, it'll start. Na, 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 na. So there's a fine line in there. You don't want to play too fast also because very soon we're going to get the swing which we need for reggae and produce that swing on the piano. So give it some air to breathe. The end to the end. So let's do this across the chord progression. B flat, F, E flat, E flat minor, B flat, F snap, E flat two, E flat. I'm snapping at the beat which I'm not playing in the left hand. Just so you know. Keep that hand going. Said, try to swing. This can kind of work for a lot of songs. For example, Buffalo Soldier in the heart of America. Or any other Bob Marley song. Stir it up. Little darling, steer it up. Oh, oh, come on, baby. Or maybe, no woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. Everything's gonna be alright. Oh, everything's gonna be alright. Oh, yeah. You can go on. That was that Jason Mraz song. I don't know what it's called. I'm. You might know, but some of these songs just hit you because reggae is a very famous pattern. It's used by artists who don't even call themselves reggae. Or you might just end up coming up with a reggae bridge or a reggae intro or a solo in your in your song. So now that we've got that pattern under the belt. Let's now bring in some flair and a lot of variation. So let's see where we can go from here. The next increment would be just to add a fifth at the E of every alternate beat in the left hand. Okay, I'll break that down for you. And we need to play that E as a staccato. One E and two E. One E and this is where now you have to start dividing by two by four. So one E and two E and three E and four E and one E and now you get some serious reggae going. Now there are two ways to get this fifth. You can either whack it up top. Okay, this is the true fifth of the chord, the perfect fifth. It has nothing to do with the right hand inversion. Inversions in the right hand are just for convenience. While in the left hand, you're playing the true root, which is B flat, and the true fifth, which is F. So without that flavor, one e and two e and three e and with the flavor one. So if you want to get the music to flow, sort of like a boat sailing, you can go. You can alternate between your staccatos and legato in the right hand, not just only staccato because the left hand's giving you that excitement. Here and there, you could elongate the right hand. So the combo of legato and staccato is very, very important. And for piano players, you're almost never using your pedal, your sustain pedal for this genre. At least I'm not. Be all right. Everything's gonna be all right. With the chord progression, B flat, F, E flat, 
E flat minor, um, B, B flat, uh, F, um, 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 E flat, and E flat minor. Boom, Okay, so we call this, you could also call this the ghost of the E because the E is very short. The end to E. The end to E. It's the one with playing the root, which is the, the point, the main focus. Now, we can alternate in the right hand. We don't have to just play one knee and. Why not do and a uh, and then and? One knee. One knee and a. Uh, so I'm clustering that and and the a. Uh, the and. The two e and the three e and. And alternating. Next beat, I'll not do and. I'm not going to do. One e and two e and three e and I don't want that busyness. Rather, I could do one e and two e and one e and two e and and one e and two e and three e and four e and okay. I can flip that around now and do and and then. Uh, and uh, so of the next uh, alternate beat one again this ghost of the e is a nice flavor one e don't forget to swing and two e Okay, so either the and uh, and and or and 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 uh, or in the right hand. The left hand either plays just the one, three, or as the one e and two e and a four e. So two e and four e. Okay, now to make things a bit more interesting, we can start bringing in the chord tones of the chord in the left hand. Right now we were doing and two. We are just doing the fifth. So what's the third of B flat? D, no? One e and two. Can do things like one e and a two e and one e and a two e and one e and a two or one e and a two e and this is more authentic I think to reggae one e and a two e the earlier one was more dance y reggae the end the which sounded like one e one e you're getting a little thrashy over there but now something a bit more authentic. So I think at least one. More old school. One is still swinging. Now we have a lot of the chord tones. Okay. Let. Papa one e and two e and e and in the left. One. So basically what we were doing in the right hand has now come to the left hand. Uh, another interesting thing you could do to create a reggae bass groove, something a bit more traditional would sound like... So let's break that down. 1 E and 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a four E and and then pom 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 pom. So that's one five three one octave in terms of the chord degrees. So let's bring that together in the right hand, which is playing the usual ands. We've done this earlier, right? And and no need of anders and all that. Just let's focus on the left. E flat. Minor. Back to the loop. Don't miss the pulse. 
and don't miss the swing and two and three and four and one right so i'll play you the right hand arpeggio pattern and then show you with some left hand incrementation so pa 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 so one e and two e and you can also block it with arpeggios in fact just that sounds reggae to me the bass can just provide some bass support you can just do the root but don't just hold it maybe comp it or alternate it with the fifth there we go start slow and then gradually move forward right but even at the end of this lesson if you've got that swing feel if you can get that and if you've got the left hand to kind of do the ones give up the two alternate beats and then slowly sneak in the ghost of the e that itself should be a great start i've just given you a few more just to help you maybe uh, equip you with the tools to maybe punch above your weight so to speak right guys so we've covered a few reggae patterns hope you found the lesson useful get out your bob marley playlist and start playing along right now and don't forget to get yourselves the notation with the patterns we've put it out there and my handwritten notes that would help supplement your learning cheers catch you in the next one and don't forget to hit that subscribe and turn on the bell icon for regular notifications